Hi, your curious minds. So, last time I created my uh, Hacker Rank uh, GitHub repository, so let's get started uh, with it. So, here I'm on my GitHub profile and uh, I use uh, Git Coracan uh, to manage my uh, projects. Uh, I have a subscription for it. So here we can clone a repository. I uh, have uh, connected my GitHub account to it. And here I will uh, search for uh, what is Echo Rank Solutions. Here I could uh, give it a password which should be located. But here, let's clone this. Okay, open now. We have our initial commit and it should be somewhere. Okay, now let's switch to Visual Studio. Uh, I like uh, using Visual Studio because there are lots of great features in it. So now I will try to find it. So open folder and it should be under the code in github and uh, occurring solutions open I use a plugin called project manager to save my projects uh, that I'm uh, working on so I will add this Solutions, great. So now I don't need to remember where I put it. Okay. So a couple of things uh, that I want to do. Mm, first of all, uh, I will uh, not want to limit myself to just uh, one program in which uh, I probably uh, will try to uh, mm, solve the issues in Python and issues the code in Python, uh, Go and PHP or maybe other languages uh, in the uh, future. Uh, for now I will create a folder, <coughs> for example Go. Okay, uh, I have uh, installed Go, uh, the Go compiler on my um, computer, but uh, what I really want to do is reopen the work, uh, workbench here, okay, and now probably I will need to create Oh, how was it? Uh, Dev container. So, mm -hmm. interesting. to start the container one time before it. I use Rancher Desktop and it need a couple of minutes uh, to start the virtual environment. Okay. I like trains. <coughs> Let's probably start. 
Okay. So how was it? Shift B. Okay. So, def container environment, I need to go. Def container. And let's see. No. One point. Okay. And probably. This will be the initial setup without uh, any additional uh, stuff here. Okay. And let's try real tenant in a container. In this process, it will uh, reopen my workspace uh, in a container environment uh, or not <laughs> okay so troubleshooting time I will get back uh, here with probably with the solution okay I didn't know what happened but it seemed like uh, I had to remove the dev container uh, configuration and reel it and it's work. Now you can see we have a Go version so we can run Go commands. Now uh, I will uh, create a new um, Go module go mod uh, init if i recall uh, correctly github.com slash my account and uh, the project care care link so solution <coughs> okay we have have it done now let's see and create a new folder this is going to be uh, hmm I don't know let's call this uh, ex example okay now uh, I want my project to include tests and everything uh, should be organized in uh, separate folders uh, where I could uh, add my uh, markdown descriptions for it, uh, maybe the link to the YouTube video I will uh, record uh, from it. And uh, I really like a book called Learn Go with Tests. Uh, it's uh, available on, yeah, if I found it, find it uh, on GitHub. <coughs> I really appreciate uh, your work, uh, Quill. Uh, and I will copy just the header words to show you how we can add a test to this. So, okay, let's copy this. And let's move it back to my VS code. Okay, example, new file. Hello world, let go. Paste the code. Okay, and now add another file called uh, hello world underscore 
test.go. Okay. And we will going to copy the test code as well. And if everything go right, I'm going to be able to run the test. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, just an initial setup for, uh, for this uh, project. Now add a new file called readme.md. And this is just an initial for Go. Yeah, and let's add. Do reference. Okay. Now we have something called uh, initial uh, setup, and uh, probably I'm going to. Uh, work uh, on this uh, in the future. Uh, for example, I will add uh, GitHub uh, workflows uh, to run the test automatically uh, and to really try to make uh, this project uh, in a TDD manner. Uh, for now, I will use uh, trunk-based uh, branching. But probably I'm trying. Uh, I'm feel going to try to switch to feature branching uh, on this project. I hope you enjoyed this video, and maybe you learn some stuff uh, from it. And see you on the next video. Bye.